Good morning. My name is One Peg MG, and uh, this is the kind of news. For the purpose of this video, I wanted to take a moment just to talk about the hacking environment of Tarkov. Not in the sense where we're trying to glorify it or speak to the effect of who's acting as a vendor for these types of third-party cheats or anything like that, but just kind of the current environment. The hacking community in Tarkov has this feeling about it that it's extremely robust for whatever reason. And I think that comes with multiple parts. Primarily, I think it's due to the fact that there is such a small amount of people playing the game compared to other shooters where you see hacking as a prevalent aspect that it feels as though the hacker community is much larger in this game as a percentage of the overall player base. In addition to that, there are things like lag, desync, and frame rate stutters that seem to add to this suspicion of players hacking. And overwhelmingly, we'll come across people time and time again that swear that someone was definitely using ESP or speed hacks or a combination of the two or auto-aim in every engagement that they come across just because they instantly seem like they're getting shot in the face or people are moving significantly faster than they should. Now, in a lot of cases, these have merit. And now with the advent of a video reporting system being brought to the forefront by BSG finally and allowing the community managers to be able to review those and then escalate them up the chain to the devs to be able to review for a definitive response, it seems as though this has been very, very helpful and the amount of hacking has been significantly reduced. But obviously that is still prevalent and it seems to happen with even the largest of streamers. No, no, kill him, kill him. Got him? Got another one. Guys, low speed hacker for sure. 100% speed hacking low. Sick. You sure? I, it's been yeah, really yeah, 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 yeah. 1,000% really speed hacking. The dude is 100% speed hacking. Um, I am in a room level two right at the corner. Now, I want to play this clip back in, in slow motion because you can clearly see here that Deadly Slob has engaged a player on the stairwell, and this player suddenly appears to have zipped down the stairs as fast as anyone could blink which ultimately leads to the accusation of deadly to say this guy is indefinitely speed hacking and that's exactly what it looks like i would challenge any player that came across this situation in the middle of this style of firefight to say that this was not a hacker and in the vast experience that someone like deadly slob has anyone in his position given the amount of experience that he has, would have said the exact same thing. But what if I told you that I had with 100% certainty that that was not a hacker? The reason why I know that this wasn't a hacker is because the person that Deadly was fighting in this situation was me. No, no, kill him, kill him. Kill him. Got him? Got another one. Guys, low speed hacker for sure. One hundred percent speed hacking low. Now to be fair, Chicken did ask Chicken Prism, who Deadly was playing with at the time, did ask the question, are you certain? that it's hacking, it's been pretty laggy. And he said a thousand percent, ten thousand percent, whatever it was that he said. So then the question becomes, how can you be so sure? And the answer in this case is that you can't. There are so many suspect deaths and causes of death in this game that it starts to significantly muddy the waters insofar as how you can call someone a hacker and know definitively. I've been caught, many, 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 many other people have been caught in this exact same scenario where they swear someone is hacking and it's just really, really bad lag and bad desync. Which is probably why the devs ended up not having hacker reports being a thing early on in the stages of this game. Because, like Nikita said in the most recent podcast, a large contributor to the problems that are being experienced by players is this desync issue. 
where the players are ending up out of sync with the server. The server is then having to kind of redirect each and every one of the clients, and you have these frame spikes while everyone has to kind of get resynced up. And in situations like this, especially following a hot fix where it supposedly fixed a whole lot of issues, and that will be for a separate video, but uh, so far, so good. Nice job, BSG. We're in a situation now where <clears throat> following these hot fixes, a lot of times there are some really laggy servers that make things look very, very, very sus, even to the effect that you can fool the best of us. So then that starts asking the question, are the player reports, are the video player reports right now such a good idea? We've all been asking for the ability to report suspected hackers, and everyone thinks, okay, well, the advent of me submitting these videos to the Reddit or on the official forums is suddenly going to make this game completely devoid of of hackers and it could be but here's the thing if the server response in a lot of these matches is this bad and the hit registration issues in a lot of cases are this bad are you then submitting reports for people that you swear are hacking but are just laggy like i was or or is bsg potentially in a situation where they could be banning perfectly good players perfectly good accounts where they're not at all hacking and then having that occur to them now, the second half of that I don't think is happening because what I think happens is if something looks, looks suspect enough to where a community manager agrees, they escalate it to the devs who then cross-reference against other statistics and tracking data that they have to make a definitive answer. And in this situation, obviously, a guy like myself is never, would never, and will never use a third-party script, and I take pride in shitting on people that do. But it still begs the question, what's up with the servers and is this something that BSG finds that they will be able to recover from? I hope so, because given the current response rate of the servers and how these firefights go and which side of the gavel it seems that you end up falling on in terms of whether the desync will be ruling in your favor or not, seems like it's going to consistently and constantly tip the scales one way or the other. And it's almost a crapshoot. And in a game where you end up risking a considerable amount of time because that's really what equates to gear is time. When you consider uh, the aspect of having to invest as much time as you are into putting together uh, a kit of gear that you would consider to be quote unquote fun, it ends up feeling really shitty when you don't have your own skills necessarily to rely on in terms of whether or not you're going to survive. And it ends up at the behest of server performance or whether or not the server favors you this time around. You know what I'm saying? That's all I have for this video, guys. I just kind of wanted to highlight this as a little bit of a thought piece. Hopefully this ends up kind of evoking a sense of maybe that person wasn't necessarily hacking and we can maybe a little bit better weed through some of these quote-unquote accusations that we all seem to be apt to want to just blurt out uh, as we're playing this game. Thanks, guys, for all of the support. Uh, I apologize for not having any videos up, but uh, we had a death in the family and my dog ended up having some major surgery, as uh, as those of you that have been viewing know. Um, so I haven't been able to upload as much as I would like, but I look forward to getting back to much more regular uploads in the future. Uh, I'll get back to finally getting some decent sleep at night, hopefully, and uh, I will see you on stream today. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. Bye.